15 to 45 mm. This one is a 11 to 22. This is the size difference. Wait. Do I really have five? This is so nice. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to film this video today because I just got a brand new camera and this is the Canon EOS M50 Mark II. I've been using the G7X to film for the past like, well for all, most of my videos even though I don't really have any videos. But I wanted to kind of get an upgrade. The G7X, something annoying about it is that it's a power shot and like you can't detach the lens so you can't switch out the lenses. You also can't put a microphone or anything on top because it doesn't have this thing. So you can't really use many accessories. And along with the camera, I got a bunch of accessories for it including like tripods, mics, and a whole bunch of other things. I was still deciding whether or not to get the camera but when I got to Best Buy I asked if they still have it in stock. The person who worked there was like, there's only one left in stock so you better hurry. I already opened it and like tried to set some things up. I just couldn't wait until all my accessories came. So it comes with all these papers, the user manual, things that I wouldn't read. But it's here in case I need it. So of course the camera comes with a battery and a charger. But it only comes with one so you have to buy extra batteries. The last thing in the box strap that you can use. You basically just hook it to this part of the camera and then you can like put it around your neck. The original price of this camera is $6.99 but it was on sale for $5.99 so I was like rushing to see if I want it or not. That means I got $100 off which is a lot for a camera. Before I show you more about the camera, I'm gonna show you guys like the accessories. So first I actually got a used lens from Amazon. It is the 11 to 22 mm wide angle lens and I wanted this so when I'm like taking videos outside, it can show more of the background. It says used very good. So it's like basically in perfect condition. The original price of this I think is $3.99. I got like more than $100 off just because it was used. This was $2.88 on Amazon. I think it was shipped from Japan but when I opened it, it looks perfectly new. Let's take a look. 11 to 22 wide angle. I think it's focusing. It's in perfect condition. There might be a, like a piece of dust on it because I already opened it and I tried it out to see if it works. This right here is the kit lens and this is the 11 to 22. A little bit bigger, a little bit heavier but it's really not that big of a difference. The next item is this Rode Video Micro 2, a microphone for the camera. I was specifically looking for this brand because I know that they have really good quality microphones and I was looking at the difference between the Video Micro and the Video Micro 2 and I kind of like how this one looks like more. So it comes with the plugs. It comes with two, one of them is TRS to TRS cable, which is this one. This one is a TRS to TRRS cable. Don't ask me, I really don't know what's the difference, but I believe this one is the one that works for the M50. The muffle. Sorry if there's like specific terms, I don't know my terms. And this is how it looks like. If you were to switch it, it would just be like this, but I think it's really hard to put on, so I am not gonna do that right now. And basically you just slide it into this thing on the top and then turn it to tighten it. Next are two tripods. I actually might return this one. I think I'm most likely going to return this one. This one is the 1K and the 3K. I originally got this one, but I realized it looks really big and it's really bulky, so I don't know how I feel about bringing this one out in the street. This one just looks like it's more like for the size of the camera and this one is more like probably looks better with a DSLR. This is the size difference for the 3K and the 1K. The difference is bigger than I was expecting. First of all, it's a lot heavier than the small one. It's hard to get a good grip of it because it's just really big. And this one is just a lot smaller so my whole hand can actually fit around it. If I were to put this on, it would be like this. And then this one just looks a lot better. And what's cool about this tripod is you can actually twist it and it's easy to like loop around things. You don't really have to worry about having to put the camera on a tree or something like this. I don't know when you would have to but who knows. Another reason why I want to return this big one is because I feel like I won't ever use it so I might as well just return it and get some money back because one of these things are like around $35 but like for the quality it's really good quality and since the camera only comes 
with one battery. You have to get more batteries on your own. So I got these from Wasabi Power. Didn't want to spend like $50, $60 on one camera battery from Canon because it's just way too much at that point. So I got these from Wasabi Power on Amazon. I've watched a lot of videos about people getting this brand since I was using the other camera. So that's how I know that this brand is not bad. One of these comes in two camera batteries. I know I wouldn't need four. If you're like me and you're just too lazy to charge your batteries, it's always better to have extras. One, two, three, four. Will I actually need four? I don't think so. And they come with two chargers. I can charge four batteries at a time. Actually, I can charge five if I wanted to. Wait, why do I have five camera batteries? Wait, do I really have five? Do I need five? Wait, I feel like I overdid it. I think I'm just, I'm just really extra. And these are the plugs for you to charge. I totally forgot the Canon one existed and it already came with a battery. This right here is a screen protector for the camera. I'm not as scared that I'm gonna break it if I have a screen protector. And this is tempered glass. And then this is basically a lens hood. I haven't opened this. This is a lens hood that hopefully will fit. The lens hood is for the extra lens that I got. I don't really know if it's like that necessary, but I actually also got a UV filter for it. So it's basically, I've heard people talk about it. It's like, if anything like knocks on it, hopefully that will break instead of your actual lens. So it can work something like a screen protector. I didn't even mention the prices, did I? I believe one pack, so for two batteries and the charger, is $26.99 around, so two would be double of that. The lens hood was only a few dollars, I think like four or five dollars, and then the UV filter is like a little more expensive, like 10 15 My sister and I went to Daiso yesterday and I saw these two bags. This one is for the camera. I don't want such a bulky bag if I'm gonna bring it out, so this is a really nice small soft bag. The camera batteries can probably fit in there, but if not, I can put it in here. And this is everything that I got if I didn't miss anything. So I do really want to put on the screen protector right now. Um, oh, what are these? I have no idea what these are. Oh, it might be for you to like do this to put it on, but I don't know how to use it. Wipes and the duster. So it's actually in a three pack because it was cheaper than like a two pack for some reason. This is how the glass screen protector looks like. I'm kind of bad with putting these stuff on. This one is a wet towel to clean it. And then this one is to dry it off. Is this even big enough to dry it? It's not drying. I never use like the guide stickers because I honestly don't know how to use it and I don't like to read instructions so I just never bother to like see how to use it. Doing it wrong but who cares. And it looks perfect. Just trying to get all the air bubbles out. It's so unsatisfying to look at when it's there. I hate air bubbles. Oh my gosh, go away. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so I believe this one is the right one. To put on the mic, slide it into here and then just twist this thing to tighten it. And it's on. And then you plug this. On the side right here, there's a mic slot. Open it, plug this in. You match it with the same spot and then it clicks. So this is the camera with the kit lens, so the lens that it comes with, which is a 15 to 45 mm, and this one is a 11 to 22. So you put the battery in, and then there's a slot for the SD card. I have an extra SD card right here. Close it back up, and you can turn it on. You have to push this out and then turn it to open the lens. There's a glare, but... And then you can see... I'm gonna put it on the tripod. This is so nice! Oh my gosh! I can't believe this is my new setup. So right now I'm filming with the Canon G7X. I know that the lighting's not the best right now because it's literally... It's like 5 in the afternoon. And right now I switched over to the M50 Mark II. Let me know if there's any differences because I feel like I don't know how much better it is but... Okay, it's weird because I'm looking at the screen right here because on this camera that I'm using, the screen flips upwards. It's like weird because I'm usually looking at the top and then now I'm looking at the side. But I know it's bad because I should be looking at the camera, but... Also, you can see that this camera is like a little bit broken. This thing is like, it gets stuck and it doesn't really close. But other than that, this camera is actually really nice. 
I'm trying I'm like trying not to look at the screen over there, but it's like kind of hard I think it's a little crooked because I don't really know how to use this tripod So right now I'm filming without the mic plugged in and this is using the kit lens So the lens that it came with I am going to switch over to the mic plugged in and using this lens And this is the wide angle lens um as you can see, it's much wider. You can see all the trash in the back now. Hopefully the mic is picking up the sound because I'm really scared that if I plug in the mic wrong, there's gonna be, my whole entire video is gonna have like no audio. The lighting is not the best right now because it's literally like almost sunset and it's kind of cloudy today. The smallest for this lens is 15. So it's about right here. And then this lens can actually go to 11. So like this. So it's like much wider. This will be about how much the kit lens can see compared to this. I'm not even using a tripod right now. I'm so excited to start using this camera. Your face does get distorted when you're like lean to the side, but it's because it's a wide angle lens. This is really cool. So I know that the lighting's not the best right now and it's like really windy, but I just wanted to bring my camera out and see how it is outdoors. And I'm not using the muffle, I'm just using the little foam thing. And it seems like the video is still really good and it's like kind of windproof still. Switch back to the G7X. The G7X has really good quality. I don't know anymore. If you know more about cameras than me, please tell me if I made the right decision or if this was a mistake because I really don't know. I'm not going to go into deep about what this camera has and how to do everything because I still need to explore myself. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, if you want, <laughs> drop a like, comment, and or subscribe. I can't believe this is my new setup compared to the G7X. Hopefully I'll be filming more videos. I'll see you in my next video.